What if I told you the most successful video ads aren't even using real UGC creators? I just made this ad creative in under 10 minutes using nothing but AI and it looks completely real. I've been noticing this brand's face moisturizer everywhere and I finally decided to try it. Every single bit of what you just saw is 100% AI. No casting calls, no script writing, no production, no revisions, just quality ads. In this video, I'm going to break down my entire workflow from using AI to write a script, text to speech, actually finding the right actor for your product, creating quality visuals. This is literally what's being done for dozens of seven, eight, and even nine figure brands. So first things first, we have to have a product. I'm going to be using Kylie cosmetics for this entire example. I think cosmetics specifically skincare is one of the most delicate products. So I want to do this with the most extreme example of a product, not something that's so easy to replicate or doesn't really provide high quality. We're going going to need ultimate quality for this to actually look good and feel good. And that's why we're going to use Kylie Cosmetics. In this case, we're going to go to the website. I am not a cosmetics kind of a person. So we're going to go to skin here and I'm going to choose something for the face. So let's go to face. Let's use face moisturizer. This seems pretty standard, really simple product description, a lot of details on the product page because this isn't my product. So I don't know all the details. So we're actually going to feed this to AI. And that's the very first step. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take a competitor's ads or a similar kind of a brand's ads. And we need a template for how we're actually going to script the ad that we're going to create. So what I'm going to recommend here is something very detailed. This is something that many people don't even know. When you're looking for competitors, one of the best things you can do is go to a brand that's just a stage up from you, not necessarily the biggest brand in the world. In this case, I'm going to use a brand called Native. I think they have really, really good hooks. I've scrolled through their entire ad library just to save everyone hours of time. And I've deduced this down to two different ads that I like and one that we're going to steal a script from. The other brand that I really like in this case is a brand called Lemmy. They have a ton of good UGC. They have a ton of good products with hooks. And what I've done here is I've just taken two ads and I'll show you them right now that I think have really, really good hooks. Okay, so this is an example of the first hook that I want to use here. People have been raving about these and I finally decided to try it out for myself. And I can confidently say that these are unreal. This is 18 seconds. This is just a short one, but I really like what I'm seeing here. There's a good hook. There's a good feel. There's a sense of what's going on here. The other ad that I've downloaded here from the Facebook ads library is this one from native. What if I told you, I know a product that'll make you smell like candy all day long. Well, you're looking at it. Fantastic hook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to ask for the scripts. Now, the key thing here is, yes, I could just write this scripts out myself by hand. That's no problem. But if I wanted to do this at scale, then I would need to plug this into Gemini. Gemini is one of the only ad platforms right now that could read and listen to video and then push it back into a transcript. Okay, so we're going to go to our files here. We're going to click upload and then we're going to easily prompt, give me the full transcript for this video. Word for word, we're gonna then do it with the second one. Great, do it again for this video. We have our two very simple transcripts. Now, the actual transcripts themselves don't mean too much. What we actually need to do from here is we need to push these from Gemini into Claude. The reason we use Claude is because Claude is the best at copywriting. We're going to open up Claude and we're going to ask it for a very detailed prompt. I'm going to use some voice to text here. And what I'm going to say is, Hey, I need your help building a transcript for an ad that I'm going to produce. Here are two examples of transcripts that I like. They're very simple and I'd like for you to expand on these. So I have different versions available to myself. This ad is for Kylie Cosmetics face moisturizer. Below, I have attached all of the possible details, including the page of this product so that you can use and call out any important details that you would find necessary for a UGC ad. Keep in mind, this is a user generated content ad and it should feel very natural in tone. So whatever you write to me as a script is going to be read verbatim back to the advertiser. So we have this long chunk right here. We're then going to give it the product. We're then going to copy and paste a boatload of information from the product page. I'm also going to say here are also three reviews. Here are the transcripts. We're going to be taking these right from Gemini. We're going to prompt this. It's a big prompt. This should take a second. Quick glance. These are 
smashes. I'm going to call out a couple things I like right off the bat. First one. Okay. So I've been seeing this Kylie Cosmetics face moisturizer everywhere and I finally caved and got it. You guys, I'm obsessed. That is such a good hook. Can we talk about how hard it is to find moisturizer that actually hydrates without making you look like an oil slick? Eh, I don't really love that one as much. What if I told you there's a moisturizer that'll change your entire morning routine? This is it. Pretty good. That first one's the best for sure. Before and after testimonial, I used to layer three different products. Just oh, so good. So good. Super, super good hook. Next one here, ingredient focus. Okay. Skincare nerds, listen up. This Kylie moisturizer, pretty good. Different angle here. I'll be honest. I was skeptical about another Kylie product, but this face moisturizer completely changed my mind. Pretty good as well. Now I am most focused here on the first one. I think the first one's the best for sure. We have our product. We have our script. We've transcripted top performing ads. And then we've taken that as inspiration along with a very, very detailed prompt with all of our product information to create killer script options. Now, it doesn't mean that we need to read these word for word, but these are amazing guides. You know your product. You need to apply the flair that's specific to your brand on your speech to text, which we're going to get into right now. And that's where Arc Ads comes into play. So Arc Ads is clearly the best place to get AI generated UGC. We've been working with Arc Ads across a portfolio of our brands for a while now. And I can say that these guys have not disappointed. In fact, they've only gotten better. So now that we're in Arc Ads, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create that new project. I'm going to have two options here. First thing I can do if I want to just go really low effort and just get an ad out really quick is I could just take this script, copy this. I could drop this right into here and then I could pick my actor, which we'll get to in a second. But what I care way more about is I like speech to speech. Text to speech is okay because the tonality will be okay, right? This AI has really improved, but what I like by far the most and what I'd recommend everyone doing is going speech to speech. In speech to speech, you could upload an MP3 or an MP4 or just record right here. And then I could literally say the exact ad in the exact tone that I want to. So here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna open up this exact script in another document right on the side here on my second monitor. I'm gonna go back to Arc Ads. I'm gonna click record a new one. And then once I click this start recording, what you're gonna hear me do is I'm gonna record exactly how I want my script to be said. Okay, so I've been seeing Kylie Cosmetics face moisturizer everywhere and I finally caved and got it. You guys, I'm obsessed. It has shea butter, sodium hyaluronate, which is basically hyaluronic acid, and my skin has never felt this soft. 94% of people said it softened their skin with just one use, and I totally get why. I've been using it morning and night, just like two to three pumps, and it's the perfect base under my makeup. There's no greasiness, like no heaviness. It's just pure hydration. And if this sells out because of me, I am not sorry. Obviously that could be done better. I'm a guy talking about face moisturizer and I honestly don't know much about it. I just wash my face with cold water, but we have the audio file in Arc Ads. The next thing that we need to do is click add actors. And this is where the fun actually begins. What we have here is a mass amount of different actors without any filters in place. We're obviously gearing this to a female product and we're looking for a certain type of person, right? We're looking for someone with really clear skin and ideally it's like high light on their skin so that we can really see like the greasiness or the shine or the moisturizing of the product. So what we're doing here on the left side is we're going to go through our filters. I'm immediately selecting female and I'm really just looking for kind of like young adult for the most part. That's really the core demographic I would guess of Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm going to just go down the list here and pick a few. So what I like to do for this is I like to heart a couple of them just based on look. And then we're going to go listen to their voice so that we could hear the different options and how their voice actually sounds right off the bat. This girl of really good lighting right here. This feels a little too fake for me. I don't love it. I kind of like this one really unique turns around. Doesn't feel like UGC at all. This is an obvious one, right? She's literally in towel skins glowing. This is great. And as I go down the list, I'm just going to select a few random more. Okay. So I've narrowed this down to four actors that I like. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to listen to each of these actors and kind of their tonality, their voice, see if it really feels fluid as they speak. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your ads. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your ads. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors. Welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your ads. Create a script you think will work well. Choose some actors. 
and let the magic happen. So I'm actually going to choose Sandra here at this example. But if you wanted to, I could just go and create four different versions right now. Click add actors and then get this 100% built for four different variations right off the bat. And if you're doing this at scale, that's what I'd recommend doing. But what I want to do for you right now is get one perfect example done. So let's add Sandra here as an actor. And now what we have is right off the bat, we could then preview her voice change her voice based on my speech to text. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Okay, so I've been seeing Kylie Cosmetics face moisturizer everywhere and I finally caved and got it. You guys, I'm obsessed. It has shea butter, sodium hyaluronate, which is basically hyaluronic acid, and my skin has never felt this soft. Like 94% of people said it softened their skin with just one use, and I totally get why. The speech is so good. So we're going to go ahead and ship this, which means we're going to generate the video. We're using one credit for this. I have 15 credits in this account. We're going to go ahead and click generate. This takes a few minutes. So while that's actually being created, I want to show you a different feature that's in beta right now. So everyone should have access to it at this point where we could literally prompt anything it's going to use google vo which is massively expensive and it's going to take that script and we're going to be able to set the scene so it's not using just ai ugc actors but it's literally setting the scene creating the video from scratch for us on demand for this we're going to take the exact same script and what we're going to do is a little crazy i'm going to go a little bit extreme here but i want you to just imagine how you can tamper this down you can get even more extreme than me or you can find your middle ground we're going to take kylie jenner right here we're going to save this image on our computer we're then going to upload this as the first frame so we're going to take kylie jenner as the first frame we need to describe the scene just give this a very strong prompt a woman who looks like kylie jenner is applying face moisturizer and rubbing it in slowly on her cheeks now while that one processes we already received the final of our ai ugc actor let's give it a watch okay so i've been seeing kylie cosmetics face moisturizer everywhere and i finally caved and got it you guys i'm obsessed it has shea butter sodium hyaluronate which is basically hyaluronic acid, and my skin has never felt this soft. Like, 94% of people said it softened their skin with just one use, and I totally get why. I've been using it morning and night, just like two to three pumps, and it's the perfect base under my makeup. There's no greasiness, like no heaviness. It's just pure hydration. And if this sells out because of me, I am... Matt, sorry. Okay, so I'll be honest. I did not know she was gonna be doing like core exercises in the middle of this video. I probably should have watched that a little bit better, but you get the point. This is incredibly accurate. It looks so freaking real. Okay, so now that we have our ad, let me show you exactly how I would set this up in the Facebook ads manager. Now, what we're gonna be focusing on is just our prospecting setup. What we're gonna focus on is how to take these AI UGC ads and scale them and how to produce so many more of them at scale. So what we're looking into is the prospecting campaign. This is a campaign that's designed to target new customers only. Within that campaign, you have multiple packs. Packs are just ad sets. Each time you upload new creatives, they go into a new pack. If you upload one creative in a pack, if you upload nine creatives in a pack, if you upload three, that's a new pack. So let's pretend we had this ad right here uploaded as a brand new ad in our new pack. And that ad was doing really well. So let's say it was above our goal, it was above our target goal, and we wanted to actually scale this ad. Now, what we would do is we would go back into Arc Ads and we would do something so simple. And this is where the scale really comes into play. So if we wanted to scale this ad and create more variations of it, you might think I have to reprompt it. I have to do a speech to speech again. I have to find the actor again. I have to find different actors, but they've completely solved this. Arc Ads has 100% solved this for us. All you have to do is go up to the ad itself click these three dots, click remix. It's going to take the exact script that it's already put in here, the speech to speech, the way that Sandra has said it, her audio. You're going to click on the actor and then you could change the actor to anyone else. So I'll go to our favorites that we had before. We're going to take Talia here. We're going to unselect Sandra. We're going to save changes, ship it, generate, use one credit for that. And now all of a sudden we have a second ad being created with the exact same speech. What's even more important for you to do is take Sandra again. So take her same setup, remix it here, but change the audio this time. So go speech to speech and give it a new audio file with the same actor or actress. This is so key because now you have an infinite number of variations that you can create with this exact scene, this exact setup, because maybe that's what hits, or you have the same speech, the same hook, 
with a different actor. So once we take this winning ad, we know it's proven and we find the variations. What we're going to do in our prospecting campaign is we're going to create a new pack. So this is going to be called new ad set. We're going to call this pack two. We're going to create new ads. Of course, I won't create them right now, but we're creating brand new ads in this pack of the new variations. Now get a little smarter about your ad set names. Instead of naming them pack two, name them pack two iteration of XYZ. And you can upload all of the new variations into this new pack. Now don't put a hundred in here, but anywhere around four to eight is really good. The next thing that you need to do is you need to take that winning ad, ad number one from pack number one, because you know it works well. It's the only reason you would create iterations of it. You take that ad and you scale it into this scale campaign. How you create a scale campaign, why this is so important is it's a fresh new campaign. It's a sales campaign, of course. We're going to call this scale. And for your scale campaign, we're talking one ad set. Let me show you the exact settings. It's a hundred percent broad. We're running to website. We're using maximized number of conversions. In most cases, the conversion event should be purchase in this case. And then as we go continue down to the audience section, leave this just as is advantage plus on the only thing you'll have to do if you're a larger brand, especially is put proper exclusions in place to make sure you're not hitting the same people over and over again. So to put this into perspective for everyone, what this actually looks like in terms of a really good structure and why this is so important and why scaling massive amounts of creative is so critical. It's because eventually your ad account looks something like this. You have a scale campaign at the top and you have a testing campaign, which is your prospecting CBO. You're taking new packs every time you launch new ads, taking the best performing creatives, you're then pushing those creatives into the scale campaign. And what you're doing, this is so important. You're taking these best creatives and boom, you're jumping these back into arc ads and back into more iterations. That is so key. Let's wrap up with the coolest part of this, which is the new scenes feature that I love. Now I did run into an issue here because Kylie Jenner's face and actually prompting Kylie Jenner was kind of a no-go, which is actually a good thing. It means that we're not going against any sort of policy. So instead here, what I've done is I've asked it to generate something that's a little bit more simple. And I want to show you how insane this looks. So this is an eight second clip. And all I'm asking for them to say is, okay, so I've been seeing this Kylie Cosmetics face moisturizer everywhere. And I finally caved. I've been noticing this brand's face moisturizer everywhere and I finally decided to try it. Come on. This is a fake person. This person does not exist. No one has access to this exact person. This is an amazing way to not only start here, but extend, right? So if we click this extend button, we could then pick the frame, the last frame and click extend, which is going to create a further prompt of the same video. We can then add to this prompt to connect multiple scenes. Just think about the power of this. You know how long it would take to actually find someone a as good lighting, as pretty as this woman, the right angle, all of these things saying the exact script that you wanted. This literally could have taken a month to produce. Now, if we can get these eight second clips, seen them together a little bit, we have a creative engine on our hands at a price that is really unfathomable for what it's capable of doing. If you take this workflow where you're creating AI UGC ads along with these new scenes into your business, there's a good chance you're going to find winning creatives, be able to scale those winning creatives, and then produce many, many iterations of those top creatives. So get on this while you can. It is still for the taking. And a big shout out to Arc Ads. Their link is down in the description. They've hooked us up so many times in the past. I will see everyone in the next one.